I was working on a MOSFET circuit. Tried to uh, connect the load here. A few series uh, automotive lamps of 21 watts in the drain lead and found that uh, I have uh, had a few zener diodes that were not okay. So that's the reason why I uh, made this circuit to test all the zener diodes in my stock. Quite a few of them, new, old and very old anyway. So uh, in this video how to test zener diodes. And of course, <coughs> sorry, of course, that's extremely simple. Uh, we add to that Zener diode a voltage that is higher than uh, the voltage for which the Zener diode was made, and then measure with a voltmeter whether that Zener diode gives out the voltage for which it was made. Could be 3, 3 volt, 4.7 volt, 5.2, 12 12.2, 12.3, uh, 28 etc. Et so I made this circuit for a quite high voltage. 41 volt is now the maximum but it can also work on uh, 50 volts. And I've used here two resistors, a 10K resistor and a 2K5 resistor. And they limit the current through the Zener diode. That's important. Of course, when the current gets too high, the Zener diode will surely burn out within a very short time, within seconds. So I've used here 10K and 2K5 and here is the circuit how I made that in real. Here is the 2K5 resistor. It can handle 5 watts and here is the 10K resistor that can handle say uh, 1 watt or 0 0.5 watts. And here is the voltmeter and I've now connected an analog voltmeter and we can read here that it is 41 volts on the scale. And that uh, complies with this voltage that I read on the digital voltmeter of the power supply anyway. Um, it's important to tell that every Zener diode needs a certain current to work properly. But uh, I don't want to get in detail in relation to this video about testing Zener diodes. Uh, perhaps there is info on the World Wide Web anyway. Uh, the current that flows here is tiny to prevent that the Zener burns out. But anyway, I've made some calculations and they are here. With that uh, 10K resistor on 50 volts and 5 milliampere through that Zener, it dissipates uh, 0 0.25 watts. And when you read the data sheet of Zeners, you can find, for instance, a 300 milliwatt Zener or a 1 watt Zener and um, well it's something to take in account <coughs> but when we regard this test circuit um, the, cu the current is so low that the Zener cannot burn out of course it's a test circuit. Issues about Zeners the temperature of the Zener leads to, can lead to drift when it gets too hot. The voltage uh, 
on which its zeners can change uh, due to the temperature so it may never get hot and even may not get warm that's very important and I've used here an analog meter but for better purposes and especially when you want to study the temperature how the temperature has an effect on the zener voltage use a digital voltmeter even a, a, a small temperature change of say 3 degrees Celsius can have an effect on the zener voltage so in fact um, um, you have to study that on even one hundredths of a volt and that can be done not with this with this meter but only with a digital voltmeter for instance such a voltmeter anyway um, or this one this is by the way the better choice a very good choice from Elro that's a good digital cheap and good digital voltmeter anyway uh, here is the test circuit again and I'm now have uh, switched to 10k and we are gonna test now a few Zener diodes I hope I can make that visible here are the Zener diodes all out of this box and I will put the camera now in a certain position where I hopefully oh, where I hopefully can show how to test that. Uh, take a zener diode. There's always a ring on a zener diode, and that ring has to be here. On the positive test uh, test surface, here is that ring. Now we look on the meter how the voltage drops. 41 volts here on the power supply, but now on that um, voltmeter very small voltage so we go back to 10 volts now take that zener up again and see that it this is a zener for say um, 3 volts that's not much of course this is bad that the meter moves out so so extremely Anyway, I um, want to test another zener. I, I will only show the principle because this is a kind of bad uh, demonstration. Anyway, but this zener, for instance, on gives out. I have to take it up again. This zener works here on the two electrodes to say uh, 11 volts. So uh, it's uh, say a good thing to use such a simple circuit and uh, only on a piece of wood anyway and here these two test uh, surfaces to which you can connect any zener and then read on the uh, voltmeter especially the digital voltmeter how the voltage falls down to the zener voltage so that was more or less all to tell the circuit is very simple I will pan over somewhat 
and um, you will get a very good idea about how a Zener diode works in practice with this extremely simple test circuit.